I would be so happy to have in, in I don't know, four, five years, six years, how you can fit with the same to the force. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really uh, happy with the way it's gone this morning. I'm particularly happy about the content of what we've had, though. I think we've got a great charity partner in Help for Heroes. I think that will resonate with people. We've got a fantastic artist in Mackenzie Thorpe, a big global name, you know, mm. he's a cult figure in America and in Japan and other places as well. Um, the routes that we've come up with, the parkours, I'm very happy. I thought we'd struggle to beat this year's edition because I loved those four stages that we just had. I thought they were about as perfect as you get for a bike race. I think we've managed to do that. The team uh, that, that have, have worked hard on that have really you know, gone the extra mile, no pun intended, to give us four fantastic stages. And I'm really thrilled that we've been able to have uh, identical stages for the men and the women on the Friday and the Saturday, identical 132 kilometers as well. Both, both identical yeah. distance. The uh, Halifax Elite stage as well. The going Yorkshire back, Classic, yeah, yeah. going back over, was that because that was so successful and how much of a staple it, it, would that it, now become? It, it was, and I spoke to the riders at the end of the stage last year in, in, in Leeds and then some on the Monday and said, look, how about if we rerun that and have the same every year, have a Yorkshire Classic? And Greg Van Avermaal was the guy who's now announced he's going to come back and defend his title, uh, said to me, he said, I think it's an obvious thing to do, I don't know why you don't do it already. So. Okay, fair enough. Right. Well, we'll uh, you know we'll look at that, and uh, and I think it worked really well. We've made a couple of tweaks, um, so the, the, the finish into Leeds, we're fast to finish now. Uh, coming straight off the climb at Otley, and then uh, and then uh, and then straight in. Um, Tinsel Lane is an interesting one that we thought we might do as a climb, but the guys said uh, not really savage enough as a climb, <laughs> and so we put a sprint on it instead. Um, so it'll be a lumpy but fast finish coming into Leeds. We're very, very happy with that. And if we can do that every year as a Yorkshire Classic, it will become one of the monuments of cycling. Yorkshire is on the map in the world of cycling. And, and uh, it's thanks to the people of Yorkshire, it's thanks to the Grand Depart, it's thanks to the heritage. The heritage is very, very ama uh, impressive. Mm. It's amazing. The heritage is amazing. So bike lab is everything. So we are very sensitive to... Uh, what is made not only during the competition, but outside. And Yorkshire is an example. You know, we think um, with the iconic start at the Peace Hall and then the lumpiness, the ruggedness of the ride, you know, it will be like a spring classic. Um, the weather could be anything. This year we had fantastic weather, sunshine and everything, but you know, you could get some, some years you'll get pretty grotty weather on that day and that will really make it tough. Um, you know, going at Park Rash in lashing rain and, and, and winds will be tasty. Um, and it will make it a great classic, so I'm sure that it will start to give the race just the added dimension. Grand Depart in Yorkshire is unforgettable for us, not only for me, because I, I fell in love with Yorkshire six years ago. But yes, so we have passion, you have passion, you have pride, passion for cycling that is booming in Yorkshire, booming in the UK, but booming especially in Yorkshire. So you have everything, and you, you, you have passion for. for Yorkshire. We still plenty to go around. I'd like to do five days, obviously. If we do five days, I could keep uh, more people happy. Um, but that's probably a few years away. Um, we are oversubscribed for starts and finishes. Um, but it's just, you know, being able to do that and keep everybody happy. It's a bit of a balancing act, yeah. but, uh, you know, that's our job. Welcome to Yorkshire. Yorkshire can be proud of the heritage. Because, yes, yes. We had a question. First, we were surprised by this massive crowds during the Grand Depart. First edition of Tour de Yorkshire, the question was, uh, would it be the same? It is the same. And it's growing and growing, you have to do that. Thanks to passion and pride. You have the two most important things, mm. passion for cycling and pride for your county. So yes, yes, it's amazing, really amazing. Really amazing.